Hi. Today we will be discussing some important characterization of connectedness. Okay. So as we discussed yesterday, we know what is connectedness. A graph is said to be connected if any two vertices in the graph has a path between them. So the graph is said to be connected if you can draw a path between any two vertices of the given graph. And if it is not so, if it is not possible, they will have some connected subgraph subgraphs are there then those subgraphs will be called components okay so we have discussed this yesterday what do you mean by connected graph what do you mean by disconnected graph and what do you mean by a component component mean by the components of that graph okay so a graph is said to be a connected if there is at least one path between n to different vertices in g okay otherwise it is said to be disconnected okay so the problem with this connectedness is that there are many many characterizations given in given in many many textbooks so you can have many different and also difficult results are there so you'll have to refer many textbooks uh, so that you are, you are well equipped for exams okay so they, they can ask you a wide variety of questions here so i'll try to do some important questions okay so after that we will give on some other questions also as assignment so let us try to do some important characterizations regarding this connectedness of a graph okay okay so one question is one characterization is just read the thing first of all okay if a graph has is connected a graph if connected or disconnected has exactly two vertices of odd, odd degree then there must be a path joining these vertices okay so please read it again if a graph graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree okay then there must be a path connect joining these vertices okay so now let us analyze this result further okay so that graph it can it is given that it can be connected or disconnected so suppose it is connected suppose the graph is connected now look at the result if a graph is connected and it has exactly two vertices of odd degree then there must be a path joining these vertices actually there is nothing to prove here because if the graph is connected if between any two vertices there is always a path so this is trivially true for connected graphs so we are going to take the graph as disconnected now so let the graph be disconnected okay so because there is no point in proving this in connected graph because it is really true because in a connected graph between any two vertices need not be odd degree or even degree between any two vertices always there exists a path okay so there is nothing to prove in the case of connected graphs so now look at that let's look at disconnected graph okay suppose i have a disconnected graph having two components let me be like this okay suppose i have a disconnected graph like this having two components okay um, second okay suppose i have a disconnected graph like this having two components okay now read the remark again okay so if a graph connected or disconnected graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree then there must be a path joining these vertices okay so what does it mean okay so it means that the two vertices of odd degree which is lying in that graph it should be lying in the same connected component right okay so what are it what is it saying if it has exactly two vertices of odd degree then there must be a path joining these vertices so that means it cannot happen that one vertex is lying here another vertex is lying in another component so if there is a path that means they should be lying in the same component so that, that's, that's what it means okay so if there exist exactly two vertices of odd degree you have to show that they are lying in the same component okay is it clear is it clear why because uh, it means that if it has exactly two vertices of four degree it is uh, they are asking you to show that they are like there, there exists a path between them okay so if there exists a path between them that means they are lying in the same connected component so, okay so it cannot be lying in different components otherwise there won't be a path between them so you have to show that if it has exactly two vertices of four degree they have there must they are lying in the same component that's the idea of that remark okay so please read it once again the graph is connected or is connected has exactly two vertices of odd degree then there must be a path joining these vertices okay let us try to prove it okay so how will you prove it okay suppose it they are lying in different components suppose the two vertices are lying in different components okay now now tell me is it possible now two suppose both vertices are lying in suppose we are taking like suppose both the vertices are lying in different components suppose it is lying in different components okay suppose i cannot draw it but i'm just assuming that it is lying in different components okay now think about that is it possible okay now this components of a disconnected graph are actually subgraphs okay are actually subgraphs or in particular they are graphs actually okay or they are part of a bigger graph but they are actually graph okay now what have you studied in graph the first theorem of graph theory says that the total number of degrees degree of all vertices 
in that graph is will be equal to twice the number of edges that was the first theorem now we have written a, we have derived a lemma after that first theorem what was that that number of odd vertices in a graph is always even right the number of odd vertices in a graph is always even okay now think of the components of a disconnected graph this components are essentially graphs okay now can this components if they are graphs can have an odd number of vertices can these components have an odd number of vertices no because always a graph has an even number of odd vertices so a even if a connected if you take a component of a connected graph it is essentially a graph and therefore it cannot have an odd, odd number of odd vertices so it should have always even number of odd vertices so when is that possible it will be only possible for this case when both the odd vertices are lying in the same component okay so once they lie in the same component what will happen there will always be a path between them so that is the idea of the proof okay i hope you it is clear so i'll elaborate once again you have to, what is the result here you have to show that if a graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree okay you have to show that there is a path between them there is a path between them okay it's very simple if the graph is connected there is nothing to prove because always there is a path between any two vertices okay suppose it is disconnected and i am assuming that the vertices are lying in different components suppose the vertices are lying in it is not like this but still i am assuming that the vertices are lying in two different components okay it is not like that but still i am assuming that it is lying in maybe one component g1 another component g2 okay the odd vertices but is it possible okay why it is not possible why because these components are essentially subgraphs which are actually graphs okay but and we know that in a graph there cannot be an odd number of odd vertices always in a graph there should be an even number of odd vertices so that means that cannot happen that one component is having so this the case in which one component having exactly one vertex of odd degree is not possible that means it should have even number of vertices of odd degree that means oh, both the odd vertices like should be lying in the same component only okay both there are only two odd vertices it should in any way lie between the same component only okay so once it lies in the same component that means that component is connected that means there will always exist a path between them so it's a very simple logic please try to write in your own language it is there in the textbook also okay so that was the first result okay i hope it is clear okay now look at the second result okay so first first of all just read the result and then we'll try to prove it okay it's very simple it may seem to be different difficult but it is directly given in your textbook so they can ask you this question in the exam so just read it out okay so first of all just let us just read to read it okay a graph g is disconnected if and only if its vertex set v can be partitioned into two non empty disjoint subsets v1 and v2 such that there exists no edge in g whose one when n vertex is in subset v1 and other in subset v2 okay it may seem to be difficult but still so i am ask us that this is saying that they are giving a characterization for disconnectedness okay a graph g is disconnected if and only if the vertex set v can be partitioned into two non empty disjoint sets v1 and v2 so that means we have a vertex set v i am actually partitioning it into two disjoint subsets v1 and v2 okay so i'm subs uh, i'm just dividing it in two disjoint subset v1 and v2 such that there exists no edge in g whose one end vertex is, is in a subset v1 and other is in subset v2 that means and also one more thing is that you can't have an edge like this okay they are telling you that you can't have an edge e like this who has one end vertex here and other end vertex there okay so that is obvious okay because the graph is disconnected and if you have a edge like this obviously the graph would be connected okay so the graph is disconnected so if you have an edge like this that means the graph is connected so you can't have an edge like this okay so what is the now think of the theorem once again they are telling that a graph is disconnected if and only if the vertex at v can be partitioned into two non empty disjoint subsets v1 and v2 such that no edge in g has one end vertex in v2 and other edge vertex in v2 okay has one end vertex in v1 and other vertex in v2 so that is the statement here okay so it is an if and only if condition so you have to draw, prove it both sides also okay so i am assuming so i hope you understand what you mean by this okay so let us try to prove it okay so okay so yeah suppose you have partition so first of all 
uh, it's an infinitely statement so i thought we'll prove it in two ways for first phase we'll assume that such a partition exists and then we'll show that the graph is disconnected okay and secondly we'll assume that the graph is disconnected then we'll show that such a partition exists so that is how we are going to prove it okay so first we'll assume that the graph is uh, such a partition exists then we'll prove that the graph is disconnected then similarly the reverse process we'll assume that the graph is disconnected and then such a partition exists okay so this is our problem here v1 and v2 okay so suppose uh, so now the condition is the vertex that v has been partition the two subsets v1 and v2 and there is no edge between this v1 and v2 that is the condition there is no edge between this two sets v1 and v2 so that is the condition okay so how will you show that the graph is disconnected so very simple if the to show in order to show that graph is disconnected we have to show that there exist at least two vertices a comma b in the graph which has no path between them there exist at least two vertices a comma b between the graph so that there is no path between them so that is how you prove disconnectedness okay if a graph is connected between any two vertices there will be a path okay so in order to show it is disconnected you have to show that between at least two vertices there is no path between them is that clear okay so between two vertices there is no path between them at least at least two vertices okay so how will i take it it's very safe to take a from the set v1 so let a lie here and take b from the set v2 so i am taking a from the set v1 and b from the set v2 is that clear now tell me will there exist a path between a and b okay can there exist a path okay so maybe a will go to some uh, c here it can go to some d here but it cannot come out of v1 why because there is no edge between v1 and v2 therefore this path which starts from a it cannot come out of v1 okay so that means since there is no edge between the two vertices set vertex at v1 and v2 we can't connect a with b okay that means there is no path between a and b therefore the graph is disconnected very simple idea graph is disconnected so how what's what how will you prove it again you take a in the set v1 and take b in the set v2 you have to show that there exists no path between a and b okay now think whether can there exist a path between a and b you start like you well, let us start from a okay so a may be going somewhere through v1 and etc but it can't come out of the vertex set v1 why if it has to come out there should be an edge from vertex set of v1 to vertex set of v2 but the such an edge will not exist therefore you can't come out of v1 and connect to b that means there exists no path between a and b that means that what does it mean that's mean that the graph is not connected the graph is disconnected okay it's very simple okay similarly now think of the reverse process suppose the graph is disconnected suppose the graph is disconnected okay so the graph i am assuming that the graph is disconnected okay so we have to show that the graph can be partitioned into two subsets like this okay so let us try to do it so in, with uh, starting again i am taking a vertex a okay now i am taking the set v1 the partition v1 as the set of all vertices which are connected to a by means of path okay by the set of all vertices which are connected to a by means of path i am taking it as a single set okay that is my v1 okay and i will take my v2 as those vertices which are not connected to a by a path so this will be my v2 okay now tell me will v2 be non empty will v2 be can v2 be empty can v2 be em an empty set or will all the vertices lie in v1 all the vertices cannot lie in v1 because the graph is not connected right all the vertices cannot lie in v1 because the graph is disconnected that means there exist at least two vertices when there is no path okay so uh, there is there's not path so we can't connect a with all the vertices okay so because if a was a could be connected to all the vertices but then we can always go through a to reach any vertex okay so a cannot be connected to all the vertices that means your v2 set will be non empty okay is it clear okay now can there exist an edge between the set v1 and edge between the set v2 okay can they exist if it exists what will happen now if that edge starts from maybe some uh, maybe some c and it ends at some d what will happen i can start with a i can reach the c because a and c are connected and then i can go to through c i can go to v2 and connect all the vertices there okay so, so if such an edge exists this 
graph will become connected but we know that the graph is disconnected and also there are vertices from in the graph in through it which a is not connected okay so such an edge cannot exist if such an edge exists what will happen a will be connected to all the vertices which means the graph is connected so it is not possible because the graph is disconnected so there that means there is no edge like this so what have we learned now that means the vertex set now can be partitioned into two sets v1 and v2 and there is no edge between them so that is the reverse condition we assume that the graph is disconnected and then we prove the reverse condition okay so that was the second result here okay so graph is disconnected and only if its vertex set we can be partitioned into two non empty disjoint subsets v1 and v2 such that there exists no edge in g whose one end exists in subset v1 and the other is in subset v2 so the proof is written here so just think of this logic and try to write it down again okay so we'll stop here i have one more session i'll be taking right now but think of these two proofs and try to write it down in your, your own language okay thank you